What's going on YouTube? This is CJ 64 here and welcoming you to episode number 24 of the Pokemon X Mono 5 Egg Log. Whew. Sorry, I'm a bit tired, I just made them on. If you guys enjoyed the series, go ahead and leave a like down below because as always, your support is appreciated. Uh, last episode, we got to this point on Victory Road and only had two Pokemon left. So we really couldn't continue until we had a full team because it is Victory Road, which only means more deaths are going to happen. So we've already beaten our average of uh, two deaths. Uh, with three deaths now. So, uh, three deaths already. We've got three new Pokemon team. We've got Roshi the Torkoal, Turbo the uh, Macargo, and Swiper the Delphox. Now, let me explain to you my reasons behind picking them. Number one, Roshi. Now, Roshi has been a physical wall, as you saw with Soup. Soup is just unstoppable. So, I thought, what better Pokemon to have than Roshi? Number two, we have Turbo. Now, the reason why I have Turbo is because we haven't used Macargo in this LP. So, I thought it would only be due if we had a Macargo on this LP. Highly enough, the one fire type Pokemon I expected to have but never got was Charmander. So I think I just got too afraid of saying Charmander that no one sent it. So, I mean, you know, that, 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 it is what it is. And finally, we have Swipe the Delphox just because Psychic Types. We need Psychic Type. Now, the sixth member. Now, I've trained two Pokemon up also. But I'll leave a surprise for you which Pokemon I've decided out of those two Pokemon to pick. So, let's go ahead and do a team review. Have a look at our team here. So we have. Uh, Enchilada the Typhlosion with Flamethrower, Lava Plume, Extra Sensory, and Quick Attack. We have Turbo the Macargo with Flamethrower, Ancient Power, Earth Power, and Yawn. We've got Swiper the Delphox with Flamethrower, Psychic, Grass Knot, and will o -Wisp. We've got Roshi the Torku with Flamethrower, Sludge Bomb, Iron Defense, and will o -Wisp. Then we have, uh, my love, the Magmorda. Uh, with Fire Blast, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, and Clear Smog. That's our team of five for the time being. Once we get past uh, the next part of it, uh, we can go ahead and progress forward. So, your okay, favorite or question of the day. What has been your favorite moment of this LP? Now, I have actually, I would say a long time favorite part of this LP has been seeing uh, Bulk Corona finally come because, you know what, we've been waiting for that Pokemon to come since... Uh, we got it on Route 8 back at, uh, what was it, back at Camp, Camp no, not Camp Freer, uh, the city with the fossil tunnel, I can't remember what it's called, but we've been waiting for a long time for that to happen, so that has been a long time coming, so that's definitely been one of my favourites, seeing that Pokemon finally come to light. Rock Climb with Confusion, what the hell? You know what, screw it, let's just run away. I don't want, I don't want to deal with the Dragon right now. I don't think any of our Pokemon, except maybe Swiper, might be able to deal with it, but let us just continue forward with this uh, journey. Now, we do have another trainer up here. We go. Let's go ahead and heal up Enchilada. We're up against this veteran, veteran, veteran. So my favourite moment has been um, also another favourite moment of mine was getting our first Mega, which was of course the um, the Mega Blaziken about ten episodes ago. Uh, that was pretty awesome. Oh, about seven episodes. I might have miscounted, but that was a very good moment as well. So we're going to use Flamethrower, get this Burnet down. We've got Thunder Wave happening here. Okay, buddy. Okay. Alright, so let's see here. Let's go for another flamethrower. Hopefully Bennett doesn't do anything stupid. Goes for a Shadow Ball. Okie dokie. And we use flamethrower and that should be the end of this Bennett. Alright, so we've got the next Pokemon against here is Leafeon. So if we can beat this Leafeon, we move up into the level 60 region. Sword Sand. Uh-oh. I don't like that at all. Can we get the attack on? We do. And it kills the Leafeon, so we don't need to worry about, you know, sword dancing attacks or anything. And Enchilada meets up with everyone in the level 60 region. So good on you, Enchilada. Great job. So we defeated the veteran. Fantastic. So those are my two favourite moments. Leave a comment down below and tell me what has been your favourite moment, if you've been watching from the start. What has been your favourite moment of this LP here? Let us see, let us see, let us see. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, swap things around. Let's give... Uh, Let's give Turbo a go up here. Uh, we'll, we'll pull Restall up the um, Typhlosion just in case he is needed. 
Let's go ahead and see what Macargo is all about, because this will be the first time Macargo showcases in battle in this entire LP. And there's actually other fire types that have yet to be so Oh! Hey, it's a Macargo showdown. Macargo versus Turbo. Let's see which Macargo is the better one. We're level 60. Yeah, we got this. Let's go for an Earth Power. That is quite effective. And down goes the Macargo. So Macargo doing a, a great job there. Turbo. Scissor. Ah, oh, Macargo, you got this, buddy. You got this in the bag. Go for a flamethrower. Our space goes for a nice slash, but we're fully defensive turbo. And that scissor does not stand a chance against this Macargo. Awesome. Turbo doing an amazing job. Great job, Turbo, great job. Alright, so let us progress forward. Ah, now that waterfall does pique my interest. I want to see what's up that waterfall. Okay, let's see what's up this waterfall. Repels are still in effect, so we shouldn't really encounter any Pokemon. Because the other one's now level 60 and above, so really... Ah! Oops. Alright, so we're on a summit. Great job. Thank you for telling me that. Two Pokemon, out comes Torkoal. Torkoal! And we got Turbo the Macargo. Macargo! Let's go for an Earth Power, even though Ancient Power probably would have been better. Jeez! Gyro Ball. Oh boy, that's going to be neutral. Let's go for a Flamethrower. Turku! Turku! Hate doing that, especially when we've got a talk on our team. Out comes Golem. Ooh! Now, Earth Power might be a bit of a problem. So let's go ahead and swap out for Swiper, because Swiper does have the Grass Knot, which is quite effective on this Golem, but hopefully it can withstand an Earthquake from this thing. So, Heavy Slam. That's a Steel type move, so we resist that. Let's go ahead and go for a Grass Knot. Ah, sturdy you bitch. Don't. Stone Edge. Uh oh. No. No! Dude, we just added Swiper. No more Swiper. God damn it. Jeez, man. Jeez. Uh, of course, there would be another death here. So that's four deaths now on here. Fantastic. So next is Enchilada. Enchilada. Let's go for a flamethrower to finish off this golem. God damn it, the Stone Edge, man. So we're down to four now. Down to four. Oh, for the love of God, we get something sweeping on us. What is it? Firo, we don't got no time for you, okay? Just piss off, alright? We just lost a Pokemon. The thing you've asked for our ancient power. Drill run. Oh! We live! Oh, fuck. Why are we trying to run? Oh, I thought we were going to freaking car skate, but jeez. God damn it, Firo. Dragon Claw. I don't think anyone in our team can learn Dragon Claw. And it's a good thing I trained up two Pokemon because I had a feeling that this was going to happen. Oh, God damn it, man. Seriously, the f Alright, we'll give uh, we'll give him a break. Let's go ahead and put Roshi at the front. God damn it, Swiper, we just added you. And now you're gone. So now we've got these three last battles with veterans coming up. Let's just hope we can get through this because we've lost now four Pokemon on Victory Road. Like, honestly, what the... <clears throat> Alright, so we've got ourselves a Trevenant. Okay, that should be no problem. A Trevenant? Buddy, buddy, we've got a freaking Roshi up here. Turku! Now, I don't think it can really do much to us, so let's go ahead and go for a Will-O-Wisp. Really? 
Really? Okay, I don't like that now. Let's go ahead and swap out for turbo, because this turbo should be able to handle this treadmill with no problems. And if you go for a curse, it's not a problem. That's right, you burnt bitch. Fire right out, man. Also, this, this battle, this just this battle. Woodhammer, that is neutral. Takes the recoil, we go for the flamethrower. And then go for the treadmill. So that's one major threat gone, thankfully. Eagle is. Oh crud. Let's hope we have speed. We're gonna go for an earth power. We do have speed, earth power, let's see what we can do. That's not even half! Stay in. Oh, we missed. Okay, earth power, earth power, go, come on. Oh, that's not enough. We got the special oh, why can't we get that? No. Turbo! Oh my god, man. Oh my god. 27 deaths. That's now 5 deaths. But by doing that, we're able to get past this gigalith. So, goodness gracious, man. Like, honestly, what the fuck? To our credit, one Stone Edge missed, so that kind of gave us a chance to come back. I'm pretty sure that my cargo would have lived, so I don't think that miss would have mattered, because the Stone Edge plus Nerve would have been enough to kill. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure Torque holds full health, because now we're down to three Pokemon left to get through this last segment. Because we've got two veterans left, and then we've got that the Elite Four. Alright, veteran Katrin with the Glaceon. Oh, <laughs> I mean, Glacian is a good Pokemon, but uh, we've got flame type, we've got fire types coming out of our asshole here. So let's go ahead, and go for a flame for lizard misses. I don't think that would matter unless it was going to freeze us. But flame throwers are going to do wonders. Wow, what a powerful hit! Flame thrower. Down goes the Glacian. Glacian is pretty bulky, even though it is a it's a nice type. And ice type's got bad typing. Snorlax. Okay, now we've got a bit of a problem. Let's go ahead and go for a will o wisp so we can... Our speeds us. Goes for Earthquake. Oh, what a bitch. But at least we've got the burn on it. We're going to have to use one of our two heals per battle now. On this, uh, on this Pokemon here. So it looks like we're going to have to train up one more Pokemon along the two that I've already trained up. Because we honestly can't do anything at this point. So let's go ahead and go for a flamethrower with our... I'm surprised the Snorlax outspeeds Roshi though. Come on, Torko, you can do it, buddy. Torko! Now the flamethrower, if he goes for a rest, I'm going to be so pissed off. I don't want to see a rest. Now I think we're at a point now where a rest with burn damage should be enough to kill this thing. So let's go ahead for a flamethrower. Oh, it's not enough. Oh, please don't rest. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go ahead and swap out for my love. Just in case, because I'm not, I'm not wasting my second heal right now. And just in case he rests. Nope, there's the earthquake, so this uh this burn damage is going to kill that Pokemon. Alright, so I don't know if he was gonna go for rest, I wasn't taking any chances or anything. So we defeated one veteran, now we've got one left to go. Let's heal up both our pokes to make sure that we are able-bodied for this next part. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna verse two members of the Elite Four, cut for that, and then the last battle. It's going to be the last episode is going to be the last two members of V4 and the champion. So it's going to be pretty intense because Seabold with these water types are going to be the absolute worst matchup for us. Skarmory. Turtle! 
Flamethrower. That space gets for slash, but uh, Skarmory is not very offensive whatsoever. Sturdy. Hey! And the burn's enough to kill the Skarmory. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's one Pokemon down. What is next? Alakazam. Alakazam. So let's go ahead and go for a flamethrower. Oh shit. <gasps> wow, that does a lot of damage. Wow, okay, uh, this is bad. Summary. 142, 125, 107. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and swap out for My Love because My Love can take on these special attacks a lot better, to say the least. A lot better. God damn, this Alex Dam is going to be a problem. Look at that, it can take, easily take up two of those hits. Psychic, don't you crit me, I swear to God, don't you crit me. There we go, there we go. Awesome. Ah, man, Roshi's level 61, awesome. Umbreon. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, heal up our first heal for this battle on my love. Because Umbreon is a bulky bulky mon. Payback. That's what you get, you bitch. That's what you get. Stupid bitch. Stupid bitch. Alright, so we got the burn on Umbreon through Flame Body by some miracle. Let's go ahead and go for a Fire Blast. Let's see how much damage it does this Umbreon. Wow, that actually does a bit of damage. We dodged the Toxic, which is amazing. Now we're going to go ahead and go for another uh, Fire Blast to make sure this thing stays down. So Fire Blast comes through, and we kill this Umbreon. Fantastic. And down goes the Umbreon. Alright, so we got ourselves the final kill, and my love reaches level 62, which is awesome. But unfortunately, Hyper Beam. No, we're not going to teach a Hyper Beam, because Hyper Beam is not a good move in LPs whatsoever. And the, the only way I would teach a Pokemon the Hyper Beam is if it was normal stab, like something like Polygon 2 or something. But ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the Pokemon League. Repel can be worn off. There we are. The illustrious building that is the Pokemon League. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and heal up. Now we have to go ahead and swap out Pokemon. Now... We need to really train up our Pokemon. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode here. I'm going to train all my Pokemon up to level 65. Because level 65 seems to be the best level for our Pokemon. So, I'll be right back with everyone up to level 65. It might take me all afternoon and maybe tomorrow. So, let us see what we have in store for us. We'll be back when we get back. Alright, so we're back and, uh, sorry, I had to stay my headphones on. Uh, so, as you can see, we've got three new Pokemon to the team. We've got Blaze Round the Arcanine, Pony the Volcarona, Round 2, and Vesuvius the Camerupt, which we have not had in this entire LP. So let's go ahead and save it up. Let's go ahead and do a quick team review, because this team review will be the very last team that we see. So if we don't beat the Elite Four, that's it. It's over. Let's go ahead and have a look at our team here. So first off, we have the Lucky Egg Carrying Pony the Volcarona with Flamethrower Bug Buzz, which I used the Heart Scale uh, back at Denver Dill Town to teach it. Flame Charge and Quiver Dance. We've got Enchilada, the Citrus Berry Carrying Typhlosion with Flamethrower Lava Plume Extra Sensory and Quick Attack. My Love, the King's Rock Carrying Magmorda with Fire Blast, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt and Clear Smog. Blaze Runner, the Black Belt Holding uh, Arcanine with Bite, Extreme Speed, Close Combat, and Flare Blitz. Let me just fix that up there. There we go. Then we've got Vesuvius, the, uh, the Camerupt with Soft Sand, with Lava Plume, Earth Power, Rock Slide, and Yawn. Then we've got Torkoal with Flamethrower, Sludge Bomb, Iron Defense, Pillars with Leftovers. So that is our team, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Let us go ahead and tackle the Elite Four right now. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and do the three battles and leave the most epic battle in the next episode, which is of course Seabold. So this episode we'll go ahead and uh, tackle, um, what's her name? The fire type, uh, I can't remember her name. The fire type, the seal type, and the dragon type. So 
We will tackle all three of those League Fours, and the next episode we'll have the final episode will be Seabold and the champion Cynthia. So it should be exciting to say the least. But here we are, we're at the Elite Four. Oh, I'm so excited! You're the illustrious, you're the illustrious CJ Associates Four, are you? Welcome at last to the Pokemon League. I am one of the Elite Four. People know me as the Fire Type Pokemon user Malva. Here on the Pokemon League, you encounter the four of us, the Elite Four, and our champion. If you hope to meet the champion and challenge her here, you must first defeat the four of us here. Do your best because if you can't impress us with your real strength, you'll never get to battle her. But it should be a walk in the park for you, right? The hero who destroyed the big bad Team Flare. And considering that she was a member of one of the members of Team Flare. So I think it's only appropriate the last battle we had is with her of the three. Let's go ahead and tackle the dragon type gym leader first. Let's go ahead and have a look. Now, I think her first Pokemon is a Dragalge, so, or Dragalge, so Vesuvius will be the optimal Pokemon to send in first. Oh god, this, this, this feeling, oh, this feeling. Woo! If butterfly is in my stomach because we're at, we're at the peak of this LP, which is the Elite Four. Had the, the wings open up. Head rise and the ashes of the dragon's den. Oh man, this is so amazing. By the way, if you hear that, it's my brother. He's just having a little sook. So, here we are, the first Leaf 4 member. Here we go, let's get psyched. I got a like button for the Leaf 4. Oh goodness, hello to you. Welcome, welcome, come in. You must be a strong trainer. Yes, quite strong indeed. That's just wonderful news. Facing opponents like you and your team will make my Pokemon grow like weeds. Kind of a weird thing to say. But here we are. Drasna, her name is. Drasna, the dragon type elite four member. Here we are. Dragalge. So, like I said, Dragalge is here. And we've got the service to kick things off. Level 65. Let's do this. Team Modifier Egglock, go! Alright, so level 63. So we're just on par with that. Let's go for an Earth Power. Now even though, oh crap, we eat that up, but this earth power, okay, now, if I know her, she's going to go ahead and heal up, so we're going to be a bit sneaky, she's going to fall stall, we're going to go for a yawn, because like, we know how to work it, so yawn up, and we're going to use our first heal for this battle on uh, Vesuvius, so we can eat up this surf, and then, uh, once she's asleep, we can go ahead and earth power it twice. So, this is great, great start. Earth power. The only problem is if she wakes up on the next turn. Now, I'm not sure if she's going to use a full restore. She is. Alright, so we probably should have yawned, but, uh... So she's used her second heal. We're going to go ahead and go for an Earth Power. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swap out for... Who should I swap out for? We'll swap out for Blaze Runner, because Blaze Runner can use Extreme Speed to outspeed the Dragalge. Um, only because that's what we have to do here to try and survive this here, because Surf is quite effective, and we don't want to use our second heal right away. So that does just about 100 damage. We go for this extreme speed, and that's her last heal for this battle. So at least we're staying on par with the Elite Four with the heal rules and everything else. So down goes the her Pokemon. Now, next in is Altaria. So now I think that's specially defensive. So let's go ahead and go for let's go for a bite and see how much a bite does this Altaria. That does nothing. Goes for a sting and dodges it. Alright, so we'll, go, we'll try to go for flinch battles here, go for another bite. Cotton Guard. Okay, that's pretty bad. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to swap out for... Uh, we'll swap out for My Love, because My Love can use the Clear Smog that can kind of reduce the defense and all that, in case she does go for another uh, Cotton Guard. No, but we get caught to sleep instead. Yay. Alright. So we're fighting off sleep. Let's go ahead and go for a uh, status. Let's go for an Awakening. There we are. Now, Waken doesn't count as a heal. 
Wake up. All right. Dragon Pulse. That's how much it does. That does not much, so we're going to head go for a Thunderbolt. Which is neutral. Does a good amount of damage. Misses the scene. We're going to go for another Thunderbolt, and that is going to be a dead Alteria. All right. So we're doing pretty good here. The only thing that we had a bit of trouble with was... was uh, yeah. With Vesuvius at the start, with that Neuven's next. Risking our King's Rock. So we're going to get our spare. Let's go for a Thunderbolt. Dragon Pulse is going to come through. We still eat that up. It does about roughly 60 damage. So we should do one more Thunderbolt. Dragon Pulse is going to come through again. We eat that up. We'll go ahead and use our second heal for this back. No, actually, no, we're not going to do that. Uh, what's Pony? 161, 122, 120, 135, 151. So actually, but I'm afraid of air splash, so we will actually use our second heal for this battle, for restore on my love. So that's our second heal for this battle. After that, um, that's it. No more heals. It comes down to the wire of who's better. Alright, so we go ahead and go for a Thunderbolt. Now this Thunderbolt should kill, even though the Neuven does now speed us. Does it mean that just do a little bit more for some reason? I just feel like it does. So down goes the Neuven. Excuse me folks, I do have a phone call. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, a little interrupt the phone call, but uh, let's see, uh, let's go ahead and swap out for Roshi, because Roshi should be able to handle this Dragon a lot better, because it's rough skin's going to be a bit of a problem with physical hits, so, oh, Dragon Tail, oh gosh, we're going to play this game, huh, oh boy, Blaze Runner, that actually works, alright, let's go ahead and go for a... Let's go for a close combat, see how much damage this close combat does to a dragon. We've got a crit as well, so it's not enough to kill. Ruskin's gonna have a little damage. Don't kill us, please. We should be able to eat this. One health! Oh! What? <laughs> wow, okay! We're gonna go for an extra sensory. This extra sensory should kill this dragon. Blaze Run, let me go! One! How epic can that. Oh my god! Oh, you bitch. Citrus Berry's gonna kick in, unfortunately, unnecessarily. Alright, so I probably should have uh, saved that one Citrus Berry for later, but we'll go for a quick attack. And down goes the Dragon. That Dragon is done, son. Done. Alright, so that's our first battle. <laughs> Blaze Runner coming through with one health. Oh, you, you're too much. You and your Pokemon are simply charming. And walk off. Okay. Oh, wait, before you go. Bye. Oh, you're going already? Farewell, then. Oh, dear me. Was I the first to lose to you all? If I've made you feel too confident, that won't be very fair to the others. But I suppose you best hurry along to that elevator over there to face them for yourself. Alright, so let's quickly go ahead and heal up everyone. I think I probably should have bought more for his scores, but we digress. Next, we'll take on the... Sorry, our Blaze Runner living on one with that freaking man. Oh man, so we've got 15 full scores left. We'll try and save them up. Now, we'll go ahead and face Malva, the fire type. Then we'll go Seabolt, which should be our best matchup. And then we'll save the best episode for last, which is, of course, the battle with Seabold. I think it's only appropriate, don't you? I do think so as well. So here we are, we've got the Blazing. Blazing, 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 Blazing. Whoa. That powerful Blaze. So powerful. But here we go, we're going to leave off with the camera up once again, because it is fire type, so it's going to be our best way to start things off. Welcome, Challenger, to my blazing chamber. I am Malva, and I shall be your opponent today. And I shall be the person that defeats the fire type for the Elite Four, Malva. 
All right, so let's go ahead, form a member leaf of the pyro. Let us see how we fare off against this pyro, making us think about L'Oreal, because you're worth it. All right, so we'll go ahead and go for an Earth Power, which is self-centered boosted Hyper Voice. Does a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. Earth Power's going to come through, and one kick, one hit kill this pyro because you don't mess with a with a camera. Tour cool. All right, so we go ahead and go for another Earth Power. We shoot our speed. Goodness gracious, that was a crit. I was going to say, Torkoal should live that, but that crit mattered. Next up is Town Flame. Let's go for a Rock Slide. Brave Bird. Okay, now we should be able to live this. I'll be very surprised if we don't live this. Three health points! Come on! Damn! Quite effective. Town Flame goes down. All right, and the light has just changed for some reason. Chandelure. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to swap out for Blaze Runner. Let me just uh, go ahead and uh, put the lights on. Excuse me. All right. So, oh, shit. Okay. Uh, Shadow Ball doing a lot of damage. That's not cool. Uh, what's special defense like? 120, 135, 151, 122, 161. Hmm, but bug is resistant. So let's go ahead and swap out for my love because my love should be able to take on this uh, battle a bit better. Confide. Oh, you bitch. Let's go for a Thunderbolt. Let's see how much the Thunderbolt does to the Chandelure. But our speed is good, but because of that Confide, won't we do much. Confuse Ray. Man, that Shadow Ball did way too much to Blaze Runner to kind of really do anything. But we fight through Confusion, we land this Thunderbolt, which is cool eat. And we land the Paralysis, which is awesome. Now, I can't risk bringing in a Blaze Runner right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my heals for this battle on Blaze Runner to get Blaze Runner to full health. Because if uh, Shinalu goes for another Shadow Ball, we can eat it up. So let's go ahead and swap back into Blaze Runner. Um, but man, camera up coming through for this battle here, Vesuvius. But now we're back out here, we've got a Shadow Ball coming, we should be able to eat that up. A lot better than we did before. Maybe we got a high roll. We'll go for a bite, and this bite should be enough to kill the chandelier. Off. And it is. Fantastic. So, if we prove who's better with fire types, it's us. Definitely us. Because we're just that damn good. Fantastic. Only fantastic. Oh, fantastic has to be the objective of this game. I report to all of the world the news of you and your Pokemon dominating the Pokemon League. I am the Holocaust star after all. <laughs> I'm such a busy woman. Beat the last two members of Elite Four and you shall face the champion. Oh, I thank you for telling me it's something I already know. So let's go ahead and uh, heal up. Camera up, camera up, man. Camera up, just cutting through on that last battle. Now, I'm trying to remember who the first Pokemon is that, uh, I can't remember his uh, name, the Steel type leader. So, Let's go ahead and see what we have here. Ironworks. So this is obviously the Steel Type Gym. It's going to be intense. I mean, this should be an easy magic for us. I'm just really worried about the next episode when we go to face Seagold. Because, I mean, I was going to have um, Swiper with Grass Knot to answer to some of these Pokemon. But now, really, the only answer we have is uh, my love with Thunderbolt. So, let us, uh, mm. we'll keep up with Vesuvius. Let's leave with Vesuvius again, because Vesuvius has Earth, uh, Earth Power, which does also hurt the um, nose part. No, it's evolved from nose parts. Uh, 
Well, well, young challenger, verily, I am the Elite Force famed blade of hard steel, Whistorm, Whistorm. With my magnificent Pokémon on my side, I will reveal the scope to trainer achievement. Let us both give our word that a contest shall be fair and honorable. Ready? On guard! So here we go, Elite Four member number three up in this bench against Wickstrom, the Steel type. Now, I know he's got a Scissor, Klefki, ah, Klefki, that was the Pokemon I was thinking about. Go, Vesuvius! Roar. Let's go ahead and go for a Lava Plume, even though Flamethrower would be better. Spikes, ooh. Now that might actually hurt us a little bit. But we okay this Klefki with no pump, so that's a good start. I'm trying to remember the evolved form of um, Nose Pass. What is it? We're going to see it now, but um, who is it? It is Probo Pass, that's it. Now, we have to use uh, Rock Slide to uh, Earth Power. So he's got Earth Power as well. Not surprising, but we eat that up. We go for a Rock Slide. Even though it is resisted, but we can go for now a quite effective Earth Power. That's going to just nerf this probe pass. We eat that up. Earth power. Quite effective and takes out the probe pass. Fantastic, I say. Fantastic. Camera really coming through. Aegis Slash is next. Now, we're going to use one of our heals for this battle. So heal number one is going to go to Camera Up the Vesuvius. Vesuvius the Camera Up. I don't know why I keep saying that other way around. King Shield, but it fails. Alright, so let's go up for Yawn, because I feel like he's going to go for a King Shield now. No, he's actually going to attack. Alright, fair enough. Shadow Claw. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use our second heal for this battle on camera. So we're going to think now he's either going to go for King Shield or another Shadow Claw, or Shadow Sneak. And then we should be able to eat up with no problems. Iron Head. So... That's actually good now that he stayed in offensive mode. Now, I don't know if he actually switches in while he's asleep, but let's go for a Lava Plume. Okay, he actually does. Alright, well that's a bitch. So he's going to stay asleep while trying to go for the King Shield. We're going to go for a Flame, a Lava Plume. He's going to leave. We'll go for a lot more Lava Plume, and that should be the end of this Egg Slash. Don't wake up, please. Alright, because I was going to say, if you go to Shadow Claw, we're screwed. Down goes the Aegis Slash. Unnecessary crit, but you know what? It is what it is. So we progress forward. Camera up just coming through in this, L this, this matchup against Malva and Wickstorm. Go for another Lava Plume. Let's see what the Scissor wants to do. Nice Slash. We eat that up. Lava Plume, go. Down goes the Scissor. And we defeat Wickstorm. <laughs> Glorious! I say, what a night's battle! <laughs> what now? What sweet, glorious pain and joy now rock my mighty heart. My will, which even shakes spears, trembles at so fine a battle as this. I am under! Good sir, you are indeed our equal and worthy to enter this lofty hall. Is your heart prepared for this? One last war remains before you. You would do well to remember. Defeat us, and then you will face the champion in battle. Alright, so... Surprisingly, we've gone through the first three members of the Elite Four without losing a Pokemon, which is fantastic to say the least. Fantastic. Uh, but now we have the most, the worst member. Like, I'm more worried about this matchup than uh, the champion itself, because this matchup is going to be absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. And you'll see why when the floodgates open. Ugh. Water everywhere. So you can only imagine that this matchup is going to be very wet and very hard. So we'll leave this episode here and save the best for last in the final episode. So thank you very much for watching this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, go ahead and leave a like down below. And stay tuned for the final episode of the Pokemon X Mono Fire Egglock. Because it will be intense, it will be very ragey, because I'm going to rage. And we, have, we shall see how things go. So until the next time I see you guys, have a great day, have a great night. Whoever is watching this, wherever you're watching this, this is CGS064 over out. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay blazing, and in this case, stay dry.
Thank you.